Hey, before the video starts, I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer that the art in this video is a tiny bit suggestive. So, um, if you are a younger person, maybe don't watch this one. Okay, anyway. Hello, everybody. It's your non-binary pal, Grace Sue here, and welcome back to another video. Uh, it's another chill speed paint video. Hope that's okay. But this artwork that I am making today was actually one that I made for Halloween, but, uh, because of scheduling stuff, I didn't post for Halloween month so we have it now um for this artwork I'm using my character Xander as a vampire I've talked about Xander before and as you can see uh, a little bit on the the reference window that I'm using um his design has changed a little bit I'm not going to talk about it though because well one I changed it again for this video to be vampire themed but also um I have a video about that scheduled for later so you'll you'll hear about that soon um but yeah it's uh this this uh layout i w i wanted to go for it and decided to use xander for it um the whole piece is a little bit riskier uh, but that's okay that's why i had that disclaimer at the beginning so we're fine um but yeah uh for the sketching uh sketching went fine except i was having a bit of uh, indecisive time about different things one was uh his eyes like which direction they were going to be looking at and the other ones was the arms um i also was having a hard time deciding different things for his outfit um which in the line art phase makes it harder because i was still deciding things for his outfit um but yeah i had like two different arms uh sketched like ar poses for his arms sketched uh but i just went with the first one that i had made originally um and yeah because of uh because of like i said i didn't have everything super planned out the liner did take a little bit um and i was uh experimenting with a couple of things um but yeah uh once i laid out the line art you'll see me adding in the color um which i stuck to his normal colors as well and since he has blue eyes i decided to also include some pops of blue not just in his eyes but also in other places of the artwork for a little bit of of a, of a different color other than red it's kind of the same thing that i did um last video with my autumn artwork if you saw that um and yeah You'll also see later on when I uh, add in the background, I stick to the values first. I do this a lot whenever I don't have a, uh, a firm idea of when I want the colors to be with anything, whether it's backgrounds or the characters or the foreground or anything. I'll, I'll uh, use values first to lay out everything and to figure out what's going to be darker and lighter, what's going to be the focal point, um, all that good stuff. And then I'll go in and uh, try to pick out the colors. And now I know in Clip Studio Paint, a lot of people will use gradient maps for this. I don't know if I'm just not using the gradient maps right or not because um, every time I do that, it's like it, it, it doesn't, some of the colors, like some of the values become the same color. So I think I'm just using the gradient map tool wrong, but um, I. Uh, end up instead just choosing the colors manually and trying to stick to the um, value that I chose. And it's it's a little harder doing it this way because sometimes the values can shift a little bit. Um, but if you try this and this ends up happening, um, you can just put a, a just just put everything back to zero saturation um, to see if you got the values right. Um, but yeah, after that, I did that so I can figure out what my background colors were going to be and what my lighting source was, which were these candles on the night's nightstand that's what it's called um and then i rendered xander that was fine that was normal i did a little bit of the like, painterly technique here um and yeah uh, another thing that was a little tricky was the liquid coming out of the glass i had to render all of that in the hand too all separately into its own different layer and try to have it look like it's dripping properly. When I do that, I usually just use the uh, fingertip tool in Clip Studio Paint, which is just this smudge tool, um, and that usually works well. Um, and yeah, then I rendered the background, and yeah, I liked getting to draw him as a vampire for this, because I, I think that suits him well. Um, if I didn't have Lai as my, as my um, go-to vampire boy, maybe he could have been, but that did not happen um 
and yeah like i said it's a little riskier but you know he is the he is the um uh sin of lust representative so that's that makes sense for him um the only thing i'm not the fondest about in this artwork is how the face expression looks in the end i think i liked it better in the sketch but that's fine it's fine um and yeah i don't have much else to say for this one so i will just let the rest play out
Yeah, so many time passed by Don't know why I'm losing my mind Ego was so strong inside At this point I just live the lie I just live the lie I wish I could tell you why I wish I could feel you again But I know it's too late And I know you're away There's a chance to apologize No, no, no It's a goodbye Just a goodbye Forever and ever You'll never come back Just a goodbye Forever goodbye I sit in my right Think about you Drive through the night I got nothing to lose Strobe city lights They can tell me the truth Tell me what I should do I got nothing to lose I got nothing to lose that was everything for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this process and this artwork i know it's a little late for spooky month um but i i hope you enjoyed it anyway um if you have enjoyed this video all my normal stuff will be in the description below and i will see you in the next video bye